this stereotype that says you guys are too young to be talking about culture and heritage. Hi, Prince Valumatlaung here. Welcome to Makriza Made Me Cook. So today I want to reintroduce ourselves to you and tell you more about this brand of Triple MC. And what our motivation here is. And also going to show you a new feature here on the channel. But if it's your first time on Makriza Made Me Cook, this is what we are passionate about. I just want to introduce, um, I think you've always <laughs> seen me in front of the camera, uh, but I do not work alone. Um, currently we are two, um, so sometimes occasionally we, when you see the drone shots, we hire out Ishmael Mkantla, he comes along to help us. But in terms of all the other episodes, we, we work, we are two. Um, so me, Prince Valamatlang, I am a cook, um, a filmmaker and also a fitness trainer. Uh, they always see me in front of the camera. Uh, and it's unfair sometimes that I, I usually get the credit, um, the comments, uh, but I don't work alone. Then there is U Tembani Umelusi, Tembani Melusi Parati. Uh, he does uh, the shooting and he does the editing. And the songs that you've heard, those nice tracks, he is in charge um, of that. I do the scripting, producing, and also when I'm behind the camera, also doing some some shooting. So that's Makriza made me cool. But it's also our, our dream also, to meet up with other young creatives yeah, we've got this passion of telling uh, this African story. I just wanted to talk about how the show came about and we'll discuss a bit further the name Makriza made me call. So uh, I think 2011 when I was doing my um, studies at National University of Science and Technology, it has always been my dream to be on YouTube. And I think telling Uteman, uh, the guy that I work with here at Triple MC, I, that's put us very in this few so I'm motivating with YouTube because seeing the power of YouTube and that someone can like shoot a video in in Bulawayo and it can be seen in in Korea, it can be seen in Kenya, it can be seen in Senegal. That's the power of YouTube. So uh, having that uh, that idea it was like planted in me 2011. But then I was more into into academics. My field of work in the academy was on finance and, and accounts. Then went to South Africa to do my studies, postgraduate studies. Uh, that's where I think also that 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 fire, that feeling within me was was recalled. Um, remember in Sabonama Kosa, Abu Funda is Kosa and seeing the diversity on the uniqueness of their culture. So in terms of how the show now like came about and one or, or like now we're doing more into culture, documenting more culture and, and heritage, was me seeing how Amakosa like as painting Amasi and what they were doing like resonated with me. So Sakula Loko, we used to do what's called Imkido. So we used, I think it was done every month. Um, Imkido was secondary, but what was primary was getting people meeting, and different food stuff. So that resonated with me. So when I came back, told Utemban, I, this this feeling is still there. I just, we need like, I really, we need to be on YouTube. So we started, as if you can see the first video, it was a fitness uh, video. If you just scroll down, the first first video of, of this brand was a fitness video. By then, the channel was known by my personal name, Prince Oh yeah, I'll just talk about how the name Magriza made me cook uh, came about. I'm always asked this question: How did uh, why Magriza? Why Magriza? So Magriza is slang in Isindebele for Ukoko. So Ukoko is grandmother. So it's actually my grandmother made me cook. And um, in African societies, grandmothers, Okoko, uh, Makulu, Ambuya, they play a significant role in raising young uh, young people. And I'm, I'm part of, I'm the testimony of that. So Uma Kriza has had a, a positive impact on my life, specifically to do with issues to do with food, traveling, culture, and heritage. So this is my friend, Utabo Clarence Moyo, whilst we're doing uh, the first the first episodes were under my name, Prince Valomatlang. If you can just scroll down, you'll see that the links were written in my name. 
Uh, that is up to the first episode to the tenth episode. Then my friend comes along and says, "No, what you need a a name that will sort of like grow your brand." He comes along. He's like, I know I've, I've, I haven't really come with the name, but I just want to ask you a few questions. Um, who made you fall in love with cooking, grandmother? Who made you fall in love with culture, uh, Makriza? Who made you fall in love with heritage, Makriza? Traveling, Makriza. So in terms of cooking, Makriza made you cook. As like, yeah, Makriza actually makes me cook very often. Hi. Then that's where, like, okay, that's the name. Makriza made me cook. Um, at first, very skeptical, lo, lo tembani. I'm like, ah. That name, ah, Aula Lelinho Putas. Then it's like, no, no, trust me, um, work with that name. Uh, so we took the name to a guy called Richard Volker Nube. Um, like, okay, Volker, can you like do something in terms of the local design and local animation? And what he produced, we like cemented our faith in that name. Uh, so shout out to Richie Valka for the designs. Um, so that's where the name Makriza Made Me Cook uh, came about. Okay, so the new feature here on Makriza Maybe Cook is uh, a website. Um, so we got a website now, and but it's still it's in infancy stage. So we're also going to, to improve as, as we go along the way. So the website it's www.makrizamadeincook.com. I'll repeat that: www.makrizamadeincook.com. So in that website, the general structure thus far is providing you with. Uh, vital information about us, about the brand of Makriza Made Me Cook, what we're just talking about here, about us and also a link to the videos that we're going to publish here on YouTube. You can also find them there in the website. There's also other additional uh, information still working on the merchandising, the e-commerce aspect. Um, in future, we're just always going to start selling uh, merchandise for the show so that you can support us and keep us going. So we're going to have several products there under, under the store. Then travel stories, uh, recipes that you can also get uh, via the website. So that is www.pakrizamademecook.com And also shout out to Richard Valka Nube for, for the design. And also if you want to do, do a collab, or if you want to collaborate with Makriza Made Me Cook, uh, partnerships, sponsorships, it's all there in, in the website. Uh, that becomes now our formal channel of communication and also our link to the social media sites on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram just to repeat those uh, on, on Facebook is Makriza Made Me Cook uh, on Instagram in small caps Makriza Made Me Cook then on Twitter the hash uh, the handle is Makriza double M C so everything you find on the website and the contact details uh, if you want to get in touch with us here on triple MC I just want to talk about the motivations for the show and I believe every show has got its own motivation. So our um, main motivation is we are into so much into art um, and people. Personally, I love uh, I love people, just uh, just talking to people, just knowing that there's, you need to have that dialogue with someone because they know something that you don't know. So um, I, I've, that's my personal philosophy that I work with. You meet someone, um, especially when you look at issues to do with culture and food. There's a way that someone knows how to cook. You are accustomed to a way of, say, cooking in Sichuala. Um, you are accustomed to a way of, let's say, uh, brying meat. There's another way that person uh, knows. So that's a motivation. And art, and also, we are so into music. And with Temban, I know sometimes when we're planning for the show, we just, uh, put, let's say, just put an album, yeah, all of them too good. Put an album, I love Mama Chaivane. And we just get to brainstorm and so these ideas because I think as I mentioned our background is into music so that's the motivation and aspiration is to touch as many lives as possible and also to inspire this African story that as Africa we are rich and Africa we've got um, unique traditions that we need to document that we need to talk about in terms of the food we really constantly need to cook this food health wise it's very nutritious and it's very tasty Okay, so the goal of Makriza Made Me Cook is to document our rich history and also to transfer this history to young children. Uh, and our, our food. So that's our motivation here on the show. Then we always have this stereotype uh, that says that uh, you guys are too young to be talking about culture and heritage. So we always try to demystify that, that it's important that the pattern stick is passed on also 
to other generations. So that's the goal here of Makriza Made Me Cook to document this beautiful history. I'll see you in bye bye. Bye bye. So the future aspirations of the brand is to travel to as many places here as possible and also to experience as many cultures as possible to learn the diversity of our food and to get to learn more recipes, to connect with more people, uh, to, to learn, to travel, to see new places and also to share this spirit of Ubuntu that's here on our, on our continent. But we are starting here at home in Zimbabwe to learn the beauty of our country in Zimbabwe and to learn as many as diverse cultures and tribes here in Zimbabwe to test more food uh, so that's our future aspirations are on the show to smell Ubuntu and to spread this love that we have this passion that we have and also to meet people along the way to learn importantly to learn because you so I also leave a link to our favorite youtubers uh, people doing incredible work in telling also their stories I'll just leave their links and please go check them out support them um, yeah but anyway thank you for watching um, my name is Prince Sivalo Matlang uh, please go check out the website um, but as I said, it's only in infant stage. We'll be just be improving every day yeah, as we go. But thank you for supporting Makriza Made Me Cook to all our current subscribers and all the subscribers that are going to come in the future. Thank you very much for being part of our family. Tatenda, Kialeboha, Nkosi, Talumba, Taboka, Asante Sana. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.